are joined now by two of Bill Cosby's accusers who testified at the trial, Janice Baker Kinney and Lisa Lott Lublin. Thank you both for joining us this morning. And Janice, let me begin with you. This has been such a long road, 30 years. What went through your mind when you heard that verdict? The first thing that went through my mind is joy and overwhelming tears, sobbing, but tears of joy, but I couldn't stop sobbing. I can only imagine. And Lisa, you were actually not watching television at the time, teaching in your sixth grade classroom? Yes, I was. I uh, received a call from my husband. He told me there was a verdict, and I said, well, give me some time, you know, let, let me know. Call me at 11.05 when I'm on my lunch, because I didn't want to be exposed to this with the kids in the classroom. And he must have called me two or three minutes later, and he said, it's guilty, it's guilty. And I just began to shake. My stomach started tumbling, and I didn't know what I was going to do. I was like, I just have to get out of here. I've got to get out of this room. I can only imagine the emotions for both of you so powerful. And Janice, when you testified at the trial, you talked about feeling ashamed, the feeling somehow that this was your fault. When the verdict came in, did that all go away? You know, I, I believe that blame is so ingrained in me for over 30 years that I'm always going to carry a little bit of it. Uh, it just still comes from that place of so long ago when women were always blamed for these things. And I, I think it's going to be a long time before I can ever get that feeling to go away. Although when you were facing that grilling from Bill Cosby's attorneys, you gave as good as you got. Uh, yeah, he was kind of a bully, Mr. Mesereau, and I wasn't about to put up with it. So it made me happy to actually give back what he was given to me. And Lisa, what was it like for you to actually face Bill Cosby in that courtroom after all this time? Well, actually, uh, while I was in the courtroom, I truly felt like I was there for my civic duty, that it was my, my responsibility to really let people understand and know what had happened and that he should be responsible for his actions. He was extremely pitiful looking and sad and he didn't look like the massive man that he was portrayed as from the past. So it was really kind of sad to see him that way. You know, you talk about your civic duty. After you found out, Lisa, that you were assaulted, you actually found out that the statute of limitations had passed on that crime. So you went to work to actually change the law in the state of Nevada. Abs absolutely. I'm still changing laws in 2017 and going back in 2019. There's two years civilly for an adult to be able to sue. And it's, it's not fair. Some people aren't even done with feeling um, the guilt and the, 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 that, that they shouldn't have any guilt. But they're, they're not even aware of their emotions or feelings yet. So two years is not even a start for them to, to even recover from this and to be able to go back and necessarily sue their perpetrator. Janice, Bill Cosby's now 80 years old. He could spend the rest of his life in jail, but the judge has a fair amount of latitude in sentencing. What do you think is the appropriate sentence now? I believe that it's essential he spend time in jail, and I, it wouldn't break my heart to see him spend the rest of his life in jail. He, did, he sentenced many women to years and years of therapy and inner jail. Um, I just think he deserves to spend uh, an appropriate time, and if that means dying in jail, it won't break my heart. Your thoughts, Lisa? I agree 100%. He's responsible for his acts. He needs to pay for his acts by going to jail, and maybe that will give some of the victims of his an opportunity to heal a little bit, to know that he's responsible for his actions, even if it wasn't in their particular situation. He's still responsible, and everyone knows the truth now. Thank you both for your time this morning. Thank you, George. Thank you.